I'm sure you've seen these insanely viral videos which are a knife cutting through different planets, revealing stunning cores inside that are extremely visually pleasing and they're getting millions of views. So in this video, I'm going to actually show you how to generate these using NADN, which is a no-code platform. And the best part, I'm gonna show you exactly how to download this template completely for free. So even if you have never touched code, all you have to do, I'm gonna show you again, step-by-step, step, how to import this into your NADN workflow, which is an amazing no-code platform. Then all you have to do is literally just grab a template or select the template, the planet in this case, and press submit. And this workflow will generate everything for you easily. Here are the results after the generation. You can see this one. Let me quickly play this. This is for Earth. All I did was literally select that uh, on that list, Earth, and this is what it generated. Really beautiful. As you can see, it also creates, uh, generates the sounds as well. This is another one of Mars. Let me maximize this a little more. Again, very visually pleasing, including the sounds. It's very satisfying. That's why these have completely gone viral all over the place. So make sure you stick around till the end because not only will I show you how to access this completely for free, but I'll also uh, talk about how you can monetize videos like this or content like this that has gone completely viral. All you have to do is just select the planet and everything else will be generated automatically. All right, let's get started. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zubair. I run the AI Workshop School community where we teach people the absolute beginners of NADN AI automations. And most importantly, we teach you step by step on a day-to-day -day accountability five-week program where you can utilize and monetize these skills that you will learn in all classrooms. Again, we have a very successful AI agency that I have run for the past year or so. We will give you exactly our case studies for clients. And all of this is from real life experience, including how to price for your project, how to get in front of a client, how to get your first client. These are all step-by-step day-to-day uh, accountability programs. So even if you have never touched AI automations, if you've never been into space, what we do is we have design everything so that way we can teach you the basics you can teach the we will teach you the advanced topics and then like i said most importantly we'll show you how to get your first client so make sure you go to the community i'm going to put the link in the description you can join there we have over 900 people who are extremely passionate about this space and the ai automation space is blowing up right now so you want to make sure you take advantage of this i mean we have people literally on a weekly basis posting that they got their first client their first sales the the details including collaboration opportunities. And again, we have our classroom section that's filled with everything you need. And we have a calendar section that you can jump in and ask us any questions about anything, whether it's AI agency related or tech support with anything, we are there to help you out. So make sure you check out the community link will be in the description. And then also, so before we jump into this video and I'll uh, showing you how to create this, Yet you can head over to our uh, light community, which again, the link is going to be in the description. You can go ahead to the classroom section and all you have to do is go to YouTube resources. All you have to do is come on the video and click on download. This will download this workflow and you will come to NADN here. Again, if you don't have an NADN account, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description. You can create a free account. And then once you create your account, you will come to your workflow. It will look blank. And then all you have to do is go to the tree three dots right here and click on import from file and then you can just uh, uh, import that file that you downloaded from the community right here. Very, very simple, very easy. Once you do that, essentially everything will be brought up right here and this is, will look exactly like this. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the demo and then I'm gonna walk through step-by-step step what's going on here. And like I said, we don't have to do a step-by-step -step build because you would have access to this free template. I'm just gonna explain what's going on here so that way if you want to change a few of these um, nodes or if you want to add more um, nodes or additional prompt to generate something different and use this as a template, you can certainly do that. All right, so the way it works after you import the workflow here, all you have to do is execute workflow. And this is gonna, I don't know why that's being spun out, but don't worry about it, I think that's just a little glitch. Uh, so once you click on execute workflow, this is going to bring up this form and this form has only one thing, right? It just says planets and you can select whatever planet you, you want, including the sun and the moon. I mean, I, you know, I wanted to include the sun and the moon in there as well. So that way, cause I know some, some of the videos there showed that as well, but let's go ahead and this time select, cause I already did like Mars and Saturn. Let's go ahead and select Jupiter. So all I have to do is click select Jupiter. I'm going to click on submit. 
and this is going to initiate the workflow. This is going to generate the prompt and this is going to send it to VO3. All right, so let's go ahead and see step by step what's going on here and how to build this. In NADN, if you're not familiar, every workflow starts with a trigger. So a trigger means that it could be on a submission of a form, on manually initiating it, or it could be via a uh, chat message. So the way to add a trigger or any node is you can right click on the center, you can add a node, and here are all the different nodes that you can add. And at the bottom, as you can see, this is where you can have a trigger. And in our case, we did the form submission right here, but you can add something additional in there as well. There you go. So this is the same exact thing, except that one is filled. So let's go ahead and take a look at inside that form. So if I go inside this form, the only thing you see right here is again, oh, I think this is still processing, so that's why it's not letting me see. But essentially this form, all we're doing is adding these different um, planet names and just basically a drop down list. So let's go ahead and let that finish and then I'm going to come back and explain, uh, take a look at that one. But it's very, very simple. So the second one, so this is essentially just a prompt generator. So this is a open AI node. And again, same thing. You can just add an open AI node by going through AI or you can just search it yourself and just click on open AI and you can just do message a model here. So very, very simple, very easy. You can add uh, an AI agent here as well if you want to use uh, another large language model like Anthropic or Google Gemini or something like that. But because I'm using ChatGPT or uh, GPT 4.1, I'm just using this messaging model through OpenAI. Very simple to create an OpenAI account. All you have to do is create an account, go to your OpenAI account. They will give you, you can generate an API key. You come in here and paste your key and you'll be all set. The resource is going to be text. And then the operation is going to be messaging a model and you will select the different models that are available from the drop down here. <clears throat> I'm just selecting GPT 4.1, but feel free to play around if you want to, for example, um, you know, use any other model that you choose. So, so in order for us to grab the, or generate the prompt for the VO3 model, which I'm going to explain a little bit what it is, what we're doing is we are prompting this uh, model right here to generate the prompt RS based on the selection here. So if I expand this, as you can see right here, I'm saying based on the selected planet below, generate a cinematic ASMR style video prompt for Google's VO3. The scene should show a person holding a selected planet on a wooden board, slicing it open with a sharp knife. And again, you can feel free to add additional uh, prompts in here. Uh, this was something that I generated a couple of different versions of workflows. If you, if you've seen my previous videos, it's basically the same thing, but I just, you know, the beauty of this particular workflow is it's extremely simple. And I always try to keep things very, very simple. If there's no need for an AI agent or additional nodes. I don't like to include this in those workflows because obviously the simpler something is, the better it is. I don't want to include anything that's completely unnecessary just to make the workflow look too complicated. That's that's not how you want to create efficient workflows. Therefore, the least amount of nodes that you can generate, uh, create, then the better that workflow is because it's a lot cleaner and it's a lot easier to do any kind of uh, uh, error handling as well. So that's why I'm just using one um, uh, agent here. Again, again, this is not necessarily an AI agent, but this is just, um, you know, a prompt generator using OpenAI. So that was the prompt. And what we're doing here is I'm giving this example. And then the planet is we're selecting, we're dragging and dropping it. So this is coming in from our form submission here. As you saw, we just uh, submitted Jupiter. So all I'm doing is just grabbing this right here and dragging and dropping it. So that's why I said you don't need to have any kind of coding background. All you have to do is just be able to drag and drop. So that's all I did. And the rest uh, you can leave as it is. The role, I'm just leaving it default by user. And the output is going to be, you can toggle these two. So that way it's a simple, simplify output. And it's just one JSON prompt that's being output in here. So once that's done, so the next node, we're going to add an HTTP request node. Again, this is very simple, same thing. All you have to do is search for HTTP request node. And this is what shows up. So you can change the message to post. And then now you can add additional parameters here. This HTTP request node is for us a way to reach to different APIs. In this case, we're reaching to fal.ai, which is a, um, a platform. It's a very cool platform that gives you the ability to connect to different models. So the way to do that, all you have to do is go to fal.ai, create an account for yourself. I'm just going to log in here. All right, that's good. 
Okay, that's it. Yep, all you have to do is just create your file.ai. And this is, these are the different models that you have access to, including Google's VO3, which is the best uh, uh, text to uh, video generator prompt in the market. In this particular scenario, we are specifically using Google V3. Now we're using this URL, which is q.file.ran run.fileai-vo3 and this is coming directly from file.ai's documentation and you have you can create a API key right here you can add any key right here so that way you can use that inside your workflow here obviously this is going to cost you money uh, especially vo3 is very expensive so make sure you're adding some money there uh, so that way you are able to, I think it's like around like $6 per eight seconds, but I mean, it's just insanely expensive at this point, but I'm pretty sure it's going to get better over time. Um, you know, as these different models hit the market. So there you go. This is the URL that we're using the authentication. We're going to leave it as gen generic credential type, header art, and then the header account. So this is essentially very simple. All we're doing is literally just doing authorization and then we're adding our API key that we generated on uh, our file.ai there earlier. Uh, we're going to leave everything as it is. We're going to send a body. So this is going to be toggled on. Again, you don't have to do any of this. All you have to do once you import it, all of this will come into your workflow. And like I said, since you have access to this workflow for free, so that's why I'm just going through. So you don't have to make any other changes here. I'm just explaining what's going on. So the body content, we're going to leave it as raw. The content type is going to be application.json. And the prompt, this is the prompt that we are now grabbing from our prompt generator. From our previous note, all I'm doing is just dragging and dropping it here. As you can see on the left-hand side, this is the prompt that got generated, which was a cinematic ASMR video of a person gently placing a perfectly spherical, glossy Jupiter replica. It's swirling, uh, multicolored storm bands, blah, 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 all of that stuff, right? It generated that prompt specifically for that planet, and all we had to do is just select the name of the planet. That's it. So this is smart enough to generate the prompt based on your selection. The batching, you're going to leave it as one uh, per... 2000 milliseconds so then you're good to go now afterwards what we're doing is we're adding a wait node and that's because it takes a, a good couple of minutes for this to be generated so that's why you have to add a wait node it's very simple to add a wait node in uh, nadn same thing you just add a node and you search for wait and this is the wait node and you can select how many minutes you can uh, uh minutes or second you can wait and you can add that i just added five minutes that's more than enough afterwards we're going to get another HTTP request tool, and this is where we need to reach to this particular URL now to get the video that got generated from that particular. Because when you send this right here, this goes to queue. As you can see right here, it says status in queue, means that this is being generated. So that's why we have to wait for a couple of minutes and then send another request. This is going to be a Git request, right, to this particular URL to basically grab the URL for that video that got generated. And in our case, as you can see right here, this is the video that got generated. So now let's go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna paste it. Let's see what this looks like. Nice, very cool. I don't know why it generated these extra seconds, but I think that's because it generated extra seconds. But you can see the first uh, few seconds is really cool. Yeah, it shows the core there. I mean, it gives you that really nice look for Jupiter. Let's see. Yeah, very pretty. And like, you can see it shows the inside. And I mean, again, you can cut this part out. That's fine. And you can adjust the prom also. Like if you want to only generate for four seconds or something like that, which will be probably a lot cheaper. So as you can see, it's very, very cool. So now you can just essentially download this and then bring it over from, yep, right there. Where'd it go? Oh, it's this one right here. Yeah, perfect, right? So now we can like literally trim this. If I just grab trim and bring it over here. If you only want to like see this, right? All you have to do is click on trim and now you can play it. Perfect, right? Like really cool. Anyways, all right. So this is like uh, a, a way to generate this. And, you know, again, like I said, if you wanted to change some of this and change some of the... Uh, the look and feel instead of, you know, it being on a wooden plate, if you want to put it somewhere else, all you have to do is just literally go inside this, uh, your OpenAI model and 
as you can see right here, it says holding the selected planet on a wooden board, right? Slicing it open with a sharp knife. Describe the outer surface in realistic detail, internal layers in a scientifically inspired but imaginative way. So feel free to change these prompts. I just used it, you know, uh, um, for this particular example myself. But you can play around with different prompts to see which one you like. And then also, like I said, you can also generate up to four seconds instead of eight seconds. So that it, that way it costs you only like $3 or something like that. Yeah, so feel free to play around and change the prompts. And then if you want to add like additional nodes, I've also done a, a tutorial inside my the paid community with uh, I think the workflow is right here. If you go to YouTube resources. Uh, if we go to social media, you can actually post this to all social media. This is, you can grab this template at the bottom of the page. This is a premium template, so that's why it's in the paid community. But this is where you can use this template to, for example, post this to all social, nine social media platform. As you can see, all you have to do is just literally now add that URL and then use this workflow to post to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, even LinkedIn, right? So that, that's what makes these very, very simple. And again, like in order to monetize these, honestly, this is very simple. There's a lot of freelance opportunities out in the market. And that's one of the things that we really emphasize on our, uh, you know, AI agency course. So one of the things that we uh, emphasize is Upwork. Uh, there's a bunch of different, uh, you know, uh, opportunities that are on Upwork or on Fiverr. So we show you exactly how to craft your Upwork profile, how to send your applications specifically for like these uh, different companies or different opportunities that are on Upwork. So if you are interested in monetizing these things, make sure you check out the community where we go through and step by step show you how to monetize this using Fiverr or Upwork. Again, the free template is going to be available in the light community and the resources classroom and the YouTube resources. Just go ahead and grab that and feel free to play around and make any changes. Make sure you like and subscribe because I've got some great content that's upcoming that you don't want to miss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.